Hi, welcome to my channel, The Divine Storm 369. Thank you for being here. I'm going to do a reading for you. So this reading tonight is going to be um, a collective reading. So we're going to do that again. But this time we're going to do the Divine Masculine Energy. And um, I do believe collective energy is real, but it does affect all of us differently. Just keep that in mind. Going through the reading, an example of that would be astrology and the way that different planets do affect us in different ways. For instance, I might have Mercury in the third house, right, which would um, affect my communication. So whether that be for good or for bad, what else is there, right? Um, communication in regards to trade jobs as well because mercury represents trade um it also represents communication with siblings um really the way you communicate or interact with the environment okay so those are all um mercury in the third house energies that's the way it might affect someone with mercury in the third house depending on whatever else is in that house now that same mercury could be in the 12th house for the next person which would affect their um commute they would like to talk about things that are secret unseen okay um also they might be a medium be able to communicate with the other side okay so that is just two different ways that the same planet can manifest their energy on two different people and it's still the same collective energy but it affects you different ways Right, so that's one example. And I really just like to put that out there because um, I, I think there's been quite a lot of confusion about collective energies. Um, let's go ahead and take a look now at the Divine Masculine Energy. How are they feeling about themselves here? Let's take a look. Spirit, show me the Divine Masculine Energy. Show me the Divine Masculine energy, how they feel about themselves. Sorry about the wobble. Okay, we have Strength. Leo energy. This is the side of the card that it came out on. This is the other side. So it's sunny. It's bright. She's looking in the lion's mouth. Right, and then in this card, it looks like she may even be protecting this lion from a creature, from this um, devil-looking energy. So right now, I feel with the strength card that a lot of the masculine collective energy has been being protected by a collective feminine energy. That's the energy I'm picking up. So I'm getting that. The feminines have been taken on more of a protective role um, is what I'm getting here. Okay, so we have the masculine strength being tested. I also feel like there's a lot of temptations for the masculine right now as well. And I do feel like um, that's another energy that the feminine collective has kind of been shielding or protecting the masculine collective from. Okay, but again, this is a test of strength. So the feminine has showed her strength. That's what we're seeing. But it's time for the masculine to step up. It's time for the masculine to show their strength. All right, we're going to get some more cards here.
Okay, so I was looking for my dark mirror deck, but you know what? I don't know what happened to that deck, so we're just going to use another deck. It must not meant be meant to be, right? I'm drinking some tea to like calm my voice down a little bit. It's um lavender and honey. Okay. So let's clarify the strength card. So the feminines have been strong. Okay. The feminines have been loyal, protective, and you know, it's time for the masculines to step up a little bit. I really feel that, especially in the collective. Okay. Um, because I feel in a sense, they've really been kind of, um, gosh, I don't want to sound mean or anything but i'm just reading the energy i feel that the masculine collective energy has been protected i feel they've been to a certain extent sheltered okay a lot of masculines all right divine masculines and it's time to step up now so let's get another card here and i mean that in a spiritual sense in a sense to where you know, with this Leo energy, it's time to speak up and be brave, right? And speak your mind, speak your opinion, be fiercely protective. That's the energy of what should be happening right now um, with the Leo energy. And um, especially in regards to this union, but I'm seeing that a lot of feminines have actually been protecting their masculine, okay? So let's get another card. All right, so we got Earth Galaxy. So I feel with this card, it's just a major shift happening here on the Earth and the entire galaxy. I feel major changes happening, okay? And I think it's really affecting the Earth, okay? I think, honestly, because of what's going on in the galaxy, I do just feel that there's a strange kind of disruption on the earth, you know, um, uh, frequency wise. I feel that like a lot of people aren't able to handle the disruption. Um, I, I really hope I'm making sense and don't sound just out there. But anyways, yeah, I feel that a lot of people can't handle it. And there's people out there losing their minds. Now is the time to be fiercely protective, strong. Show, sorry, show your strength, show your dominance. Okay, let's get another card here. All right. All right, so in the Divine Masculine Energy, let's take a look at Earth Galaxy. And you know, Leo represents the sun. I'm also seeing the Earth. So there definitely could be something going on with the sun right now that is affecting the Earth and kind of disrupting uh, the regular, or rather the vibration or the frequency that you know, we're really kind of used to. So I feel like it, there's just like kind of this new vibration, this new frequency or wave coming through is what I'm seeing and hitting the earth. We even have Ace of Pentacles earth here. Okay, so I think um, this strange energy is like the earth trying to integrate that, integrate that frequency and hold it you know and it's just not used to it and um, when I say earth I mean ev the earth and everything on the earth right so this is a strange kind of frequency but it's also bringing in new opportunities I do fully feel like we've moved out of the age of Pisces we're in the age of Aquarius now or at least moving into it fully now like there I feel like there's no question about it I think it's just happened as well very recently um, within weeks. Let's get another card here for strength. 
And so we're going to be feeling these shifts. We're going to be feeling these frequencies. Some of them are going to be very strange. Okay. And I also feel like we're moving into these this new age and I'm um, seeing and feeling just all these different groups um, coming up and kind of trying to control this new age that we're going through, much kind of like the last age we've been in has fully been controlled like the matrix. I'm seeing different groups come up and kind of trying to grasp hold of this new era, the age of Aquarius that we're moving into. And um, really I feel it is disastrous because think about it, Aquarius is very like Uranian energy, it's disruptive. Okay, so it's like there is no one group that's going to be able to take control of this era, of this energy. Absolutely not. Any attempt to do so will absolutely prove to be disastrous because the age of Aquarius, what we're moving into, this new energy deals with the whole collective as a whole, as a whole. And... um I do feel like there is no one group that's going to be able to direct this, to control this. It is all of us as a whole. That is the only way, um, is what I'm feeling here. Okay, so it's really about resisting any kind of control or... Um, restrictions that are placed on us because like I said I feel uh, moving into this energy like I said I do feel all these different groups kind of trying to take hold and control and again it'll prove disastrous and even going um, allowing someone to control you in this way your frequency whatever it is will also prove disastrous because that's not what Aquarius energy is about it is disastrous in that way. Aquarius will not work that way. Okay, so I'm just saying um, this is about being strong. This is about asserting your individuality and your strength as a collective. Okay, this is coming together. Okay, because um, there's one group, that's humanity. And like I said, there is no other group, no other, there's no other group that's going to think they're going to come in, take control of this and, you know, kind of be like the top, on the top, like we've had during the past age where, you know, we've had a small group of people in charge of rules and money and all of that, those things. <clears throat> so I definitely see that's the old way of doing things okay um, this order of control is the old way and uh, we're moving into a new age to where that order is disintegrating um, and any you know any I don't want to say compliance but is going to prove to be disastrous okay because it does not fit with the Aquarian energy okay it does not fit so let's get another card here for strength apology and forgiveness okay so there's the masculine here Leo energy all right I feel that they sincerely want to apologize to their feminines so a lot of masculines are feeling guilt are feeling shameful, um, are feeling like they have disappointed themselves, they have disappointed their feminine. A lot of masculines are feeling like um, they should have been there more for their feminines, they should have been protecting them more. Um, so there's a lot of masculines who are waking up looking um, at their feminines and what's going on in the world and they're like oh my gosh I haven't protected my feminine I haven't protected my feminine and her heart in this relationship um, in any way right I've been weak while my feminine has been strong 
And I'm not saying this is every masculine, okay? Again, all collective energies are going to affect, affect us in different ways, like I said. But this masculine... You know, it was a way to try to control their emotions, okay? Sometimes being vulnerable is being strong. Sometimes opening up is being very strong, right? You don't always have to shut down. So there's masculines out here who want forgiveness, who are apologizing, okay? And not just to their feminine to um spirit i feel okay so there's a deep deep sorrow in the masculine collective right now and part of that is a purging so we're purging so much energy um, from this past age and part of the energy the masculine collective is purging is um that wanting control right like we have to purge that energy um, so yeah, that's what I see. Sorry, I just had to get a drink of my tea. All right, so let's see what else we have here. Endings are really just beginnings, okay? So with this card, you know, moving into the beginning of a new age, um, you know, there's there's... A lot of people, a lot of masculines even, who do not want to let go of this last age. They're still holding on to it. They're still trying to build the same concept and constructs um, as the past age. It's not going to work, okay? So this is letting it end, okay? And letting there be a new beginning. But like I said, it's not necessarily going to look like what we think it's going to look like. There is not going to be one group leading the charge, there is not going to, the old paradigm cannot and will not hold up, okay? The only, I would say, the only group that's going to come out victorious is literally the whole collective, okay? Um, and, and that's even meaning people who consider themselves part of the collective, people who consider themselves basically like not above everyone else, um, not in a position of power, because those people want to control. So here we have that not working out, actually crashing in everyone's faces, including the masculine energies who want to control things, especially with strength here. It's been blowing up, crashing in their face, I would say almost all year, Okay, um, could be longer, shorter, however it resonates with you, but that's the energy. Let's take a look at forgiveness. What did the masculine want forgiveness for? So this masculine wants forgiveness from their feminine because they were running from this truth. They were running from the truth of love. They were running from the truth of what strong is, what it means to be strong, what it means to be loyal, what it means to be brave. Running from that truth. Running from their feminine. So a lot of these masculines were running from their twin flame, running from their feminine. They were the runner. And with that running, they were also running from their own truth, their own strength. I'm telling you guys, there's some weird vibes hitting the, the earth right now. Um, I'm seeing a lot of yellow here, solar, solar plexus energy. It's about confidence, bravery. Okay, that is needed right now from the masculine collective. We've really seen it in the... Um, Feminine collective, but we need to see it more from the masculine collective. So let's go ahead and take a look. We're going to get some karma cards for the masculine. We're going to see how he's feeling about his feminine. Okay. 
Okay. We got Jupiter in the second house. Wow. So Jupiter in the second house is all about really big blessings. So there's a really big blessing at the end of this. Okay. And it's so big. It's the granting of your beliefs. Okay. It is blessings from what you value, the beliefs that you value, blessings coming from that, and good fortune coming from your resources. Okay, so that's what this masculine has ahead of them. But they need to learn to be patient. That's not something that happens overnight. So I'm seeing a lot, a lot of money coming in for this masculine. In this reading, I think um, whoever this message is for, they have Jupiter in the second house, okay? So they're saying, be patient, learn patiently, teach patiently, okay? Be positive about what you want. Don't be negative about it. Don't think of it negatively, but grow and expand and get what you need, okay? In order to accomplish what you want. Learn or teach your beliefs. Tell others about your beliefs. Be positive about what you value. Don't let anybody tear down what you value. Don't let anybody um, be negative about your beliefs and your values. That's not fair. So be positive about your values no matter what anybody else says. Grow and expand your resources. That is what this masculine needs to focus on. All right. Then we have the granting of your beliefs. Okay. It's okay to believe in whatever you believe in. It is not anybody else's job to tell you what to believe. Okay. And that's one thing this masculine has been learning and struggling with. What to believe in. What to believe in. Because what they feel and their spirit and their soul so much different than what they're told to believe in and now we have the clashes of the old paradigm and the new paradigm and you know i even think that while aquarius energy is all these different groups popping up that signifies aquarius that's also the old paradigm trying to grasp control so none of none of these things are good because you know for the energy right now because it's creating a split. It's creating a divide. And like we said, like I said, that's not going to work with Aquarian energy. Okay. So knowing how to grant, be okay, and value your beliefs, no matter what anybody else says, and also being able to value other people's beliefs. Okay. Um, and good fortune coming from that. Very Aquarius energy. So, very, very big, big, big financial blessing coming in for this masculine. I'm, I'm not talking small here, okay? I am talking really big, okay? Big. This is Jupiter. This is not, uh, excuse me. This is not some little planet. This is Jupiter, the planet of wealth, okay? The planet of extreme wealth. That's what I'm seeing for this masculine, okay? But they have to be brave enough to accept it. They need to accept it, okay? Be able to accept it. A lot of masculines have been struggling with what to believe in, with their mentality, with what they deserve, and... They need to know they do deserve this. They need to know that it's okay to accept a blessing. All right, let's get a message for the masculine. What lesson are they learning right now? They are learning self-care. They need to learn how to care for themselves spiritually, not just physically, but spiritually as well, mentally emotionally these are things they need to learn all right 
because they haven't been doing that. And they always end up feeling ridden with guilt, okay, shame, uh, regret. So it's something, you know, to remember to take care of yourself spiritually as well with meditation, clearing your energy. Okay, let's take a look at how... <coughs> Okay, so let's take a look here. How is this masculine and the collective feeling about their feminine? Okay, what is in their heart towards their feminine? Okay, we got number 11, twin flame energy. All right, justice. So this is balance being restored. This is justice and karma. All right, we got the King of Cups. They feel very emotional about their feminine, okay? Um, they feel they have not been fair to their feminine in the past. Instead of protecting their feminine, they protected themselves. They protected their emotions. They didn't protect the one they love through their emotions. They simply protected themselves and their emotions. And they feel an extreme guilt for that. They feel shame for that. Okay, they know it's not right, that it hasn't been fair. And this masculine feels a little bit more deeper towards their feminine because of this. They want to show their feminine they care. They want to apologize. I feel a lot of masculines don't want to bring it up because it brings up the guilt. It brings up the shame. So a lot of them might refrain from apologizing to their feminine for not being there for them, for not being loyal, for not loving them the way they should, for being selfish, for running, for lying. They're running away from the truth, from holding on to old paradigms, for not letting yourself evolve, not giving yourself permission to believe what you believe. This masculine believes this feminine is his twin flame. He believes that you're destined to be together. So why, masculine? What is so wrong with that? That's what I'm asking. Why do you feel someone has to grant you permission to believe that? Nobody has to grant anyone permission to believe anything. That is your own free will. All right. Let's go ahead and clarify these. Let's take a look at justice here. We got Libra here, by the way. Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer. Let's take a look at... Justice. Okay, we got release, surrender, and purge. So again, we have a purging of the old paradigm, a purging of the old. But you know what needs to take place? Again, giving yourself permission to believe whatever you want to believe. Giving yourself permission to feel whatever you feel. Why do these masculines think they need permission to love their feminines? They don't. Let's get a card for the King of Cups. Renewal and spark. So they want to renew things between you. Okay, they are releasing old behaviors. Um, for some of them, they have been through the court system, the justice system, and they've kind of been forced to surrender and release old behaviors. They've been forced to learn new ways to take care of themselves. So what they want most at this time with their feminine is an emotional renewal to be able to um, feel that spark again between you, okay? Um, they also... This masculine, I feel a lot of masculines have just been used to being controlled. And, you know, in the world we live in, you don't even need someone to tell you what to do to control you. 
You could be controlled through your beliefs. You could be controlled through what you think about yourself. You could be controlled by feelings of shame. You could be controlled by how you view the outside world. You could be controlled by so much. And so a lot of times, you know, um, these masculines have been looking for that, looking for permission to feel the way they feel. You don't need permission. How you feel is validated by you. You don't need anyone else to validate it. You don't even need anyone else to tell you how you feel. You just have to look inward. All right, so let's run through really quickly their thoughts towards their feminine. Let's move the camera down. Their emotions towards their feminine. The intentions towards their feminine. And the actions they want to take feminine. Listen, oh, look at that. This masculine regrets the way they treated you. They regret the way they didn't protect you. They feel they should have protected you, and they feel that they didn't, okay? They feel that they have let you down, um, especially with the emperor here, okay? That they should have been more worried about... Um, Being there for you, asking you what you need, um, and giving you what you need rather than controlling the whole situation, controlling all of their emotions, controlling the whole relationship, Ten of Pentacles. They should have asked you how you were doing. They should have asked you about your needs. They should have paid more attention. And now with the Five of Cups, they're regretting it. Let's take a look further at their thoughts towards you, Feminine. They always saw themselves as the leader, as like the boss, you know?